went to school at Louisiana Tech University for a Bachelor's of Engineering in Chemical Engineering with a minor in Aviation. My grandfather was the youngest pilot to come out of the city of New Orleans during World War II, and as a result, I also had a, a, fa a passion for flying. Louisiana Tech was the only school in Louisiana that did have a flight line, and so I ended up in North Louisiana gaining that education there. After I joined the NASA team, I did go back to school, and I have a Master's in Environmental Engineering from the University of New Orleans. In my spare time, I was flying search and rescue missions for the city of New Orleans Civil Air Patrol. We would fly out of Lakefront Airport, which is an old historic airport in the city of New Orleans, and do search and rescue missions for the city of New Orleans itself. Currently, I'm working construction on the B-2 test stand. Often, I'm the only female in the room, so oftentimes, the designers as well as the technicians are male dominated and so being the only female in the room sometimes is a challenge but I have to understand that I have been educated, I have worked in this industry for over 10 years and I do have a voice and it does matter. A moment in my NASA history that really resonates with me is the moment that I got to meet Commander Collins. The day that I interviewed to work for the external fuel tank program, Commander Collins and her STS-114 crew were at Michu Assembly Facility. And I stood in the audience and I listened to her speak about the mission and I listened to her speak about what she was going to do with return to flight. And I knew at that moment, I wanted to support her and her vision for us to return to flight. Meeting Commander Collins was a moment that I'll always remember, knowing that she's at the very first female United States commander of a space shuttle was something that was remarkable to me. Also knowing that she was the mother of two children made me realize that being a NASA engineer, a female NASA engineer, anything is possible. If I could give advice to any young lady, and quite frankly any child out there that's thinking about doing something in the field of science, technology, engineering, or mathematics, would be to dig deep and try hard. STEM is a challenging program, it's a dynamic field, and it's also so very rewarding but it's hard. So don't lose sight, try really hard, stay focused, and keep dreaming. What makes me proudest to be a woman at NASA is that I get to help build the Space Launch System to return the United States back to a flying program.